The Tambor Resynth and Sepstral Morph feature a utilities window. Here, we can control the device's CPU usage and more. Both devices do a lot of intensive processing, so it's important to be aware of how it affects your session's CPU. Firstly, we have multi-threading. This is enabled by default as it drastically cuts down the device's CPU usage. We can also set how many threads the processing will be distributed across. The benefit it provides is ultimately bounded by your computer's specs, so while selecting a large number isn't necessarily harmful, it won't bring improvements either. Here, we have the auto mute. When the auto mute detects no signal is being input into the device, it will start a countdown timer, the auto mute timer. When this timer reaches zero, the processing will mute. This is very useful for reducing CPU when the device does not currently need to process audio. Under auto mute timer, we can see the aforementioned countdown time. You can choose which input the auto mute monitors. It can monitor both the main input and the secondary input, or just the main input, or just the secondary input. Here, we can toggle a gate on the input signal. When the input signal drops below the threshold, audio will stop, and the auto mute timer will begin counting down. This is handy if the device is being used on a channel with a live input, like a microphone, a DI, etc., as even the quietest of inputs will turn the processing back on. The gate also respects which input is selected here. When freeze is enabled in the Tambor Resynth, the auto mute will not count down until freeze is disabled. In the bottom left of the Tambor Resynth's utilities window, we can enable or disable the visualizer and toggle anti-aliasing within the visualizer. For the Sepstral Morph, we can enable or disable true bypass when the XY pad is positioned in the lower left or upper right corners. This is on by default. It's worth noting that all of these parameters display little hints when you hover over them and include further explanations in the Info View tab on the left. This concludes the explanation of the Utilities window. Consider supporting me through your purchase of these Max for Live devices. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.